Good afternoon, everyone. This is Rob from Next Truck Sales. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to our 2016 Kenworth T680. This truck features a Packard MX-13 455 horsepower with a 13-speed manual. I'm gonna take you through the truck, show you some of the features, show you the, some of the things that we've done to it and some of the things that we've left uh, because it's a used truck, we can't make it perfect, but we can make it real nice. So let's get started. Have a look here. You can see that uh, first thing we've done, we put some new top hats on and polished the steering wheels. We got a pair of Continental HSL three steers. I'll get the uh, hood up here for you and let you have a look. So that's about an 80% steer tire, which is excellent. Uh, steer axle disc brakes. You can see that we've sandblasted and painted the frame blue. The frame did originally come blue, but uh, we like painting these, this particular truck with a fresh coat of blue paint because it looks awesome. So there you have it. You've got your Packard 455. It's compliant in California and US as well as Canada. And if you happen to be watching this video and you're in the US, we do offer delivery from our yard in Buffalo, New York. Let's go through here. You can see that we've uh, got a matching Continental on the other side. Continental HSL3, brand new top hats. No major body damage on this truck. I'm just gonna pull that back. I'll get this running in just a minute, but I wanna take you through. We've already done the DOT. You can see that we've changed out one of the brake lines here. The truck is coming certified, ready to go to work. No check engine lights, emissions connected, will complete a forced regen, fresh DOT in service, and ready to go to work with cold air conditioning. So have a quick look here. Wide angle, it's got a 244 inch wheelbase, which is a little longer than what you'd find on your standard set back axle T680. Uh, the reason why this truck did have a headache rack on the back, it was hauling flat deck. So there's a little bit of extra space here. You'll see where the headache rack was mounted. We would have had uh, it mounted in that location there. We have a Kenworth Smart Air System. Not sure if it's working. We're not certifying that it is working. I'll quickly check it and see if it works great. If it doesn't work, it is what it is. These systems last about four or five years. And after that point, they start getting really expensive to fix. So it's on there if you want to invest the time and energy to make it work great. Generally speaking, I find they don't really work all that well. You'll see here that we've got on this side here, fuel tank, it's 110 gallons. It's been polished to a mirror shine. We have a really good polisher. And you can see that we've painted the brackets, which, which is really a nice uh, look to the truck. And you can see that we've got, everything's been painted in and underneath here. So it really looks like a proper paint job. Over here, we've got the long 33 inch gangster style fenders. They're brand new. We just put them on. Doesn't make sense to have a shiny painted truck with ugly, yucky used fenders. So they are brand new. You'll see here the nice job he's done. Painted the drive shaft, all of the airlines, all of the cross members, it looks great. We really do have a nice uh, painter that takes care of this. You can see the, the cross members, that will burn off after the first regen. But we've got the uh, Kenworth AG400, four pivot, four airbag suspension. We've got brand new Chinese drive tires with brand new aluminum wheels on the outside and brand new steel wheels on the inside along with brand new top hats on the center cap. Now, the reason why we do this, because this truck was running super singles and we take them off, we find that people prefer the dual, so we've dueled it out. Have a look here, you can see we've got new shocks, Monroe shocks at the back. It looks like we've got a new airbag here as well. And you can see what a nice job, again, he's done on painting the chassis. Looks like we've got a new chamber for our disc brake on this side. Have a look here, we've got Fontaine, no, it's a Holland 3500 in excellent condition. You got lots of adjustment left on the jam nut and it moves six inches forward, six inches back. Over here, again, eight matching drive tires, Chinese virgin tires. Over here, we've got a pogo stick, so you've got room here for, obviously, a heavy crack. If you intend to put it in the front, you probably got about at least, I would say close to 24 inches clear space between the back wall of the cab. But actually, if we factor in 
that air unit you probably have closer to 18 inches of clear space to put a headache rack and then you've got obviously a solid deck plate here let's go over here on this side we have a 110 gallon capacity fuel tank again mirror shine so you got 220 total we, we've <coughs> excuse me we've got a bunk access door up here extra inside of here we've got a power inverter that will be wired throughout the cab as well as a stereo subwoofer that's factory installed okay we'll get this running in a minute for the in the meantime we'll just quickly go inside and i'll show you around uh, your def fill is there you've got chrome across the bottom or stainless steel there are no lights in it and generally speaking if you have lights you got to make them work so sometimes it ends up being more hassle than it's worth you'll see here okay we've got uh got no lights on that bar okay over here inside vantage interior not the basic interior not the top of the line VIT it's somewhere in between we've got your standard Kenworth seat showing some signs of aging have a look might need replacing it's got some stains that we try to get out it's okay cloth isn't completely wore out and it's not great so have a look over here. Power locks, mirrors, and windows. Okay, steering wheel cover on here, probably because the steering wheel is all sunburnt. They tend to get sunburnt and then this happens over here. Inside, 677 miles. Let's get it started. Oops. We're low on fuel. Sorry about that. Okay, 677 miles, automatic climate control, 13 speed manual, no check engine lights, good oil pressure. I'll go through the, uh, the walkthrough under the hood in just a minute. Over here on this side, you can see we somebody's gone ahead and reupholstered that seat with sort of a 80s themed Camaro looking racing stripe down the center. Kind of cool. Probably best maybe just stick a a brand new seat in this side if that's really important to you but regardless it is a used truck you're not getting all new parts look here so dash is clean got a couple of holes drilled from where the um, e-log was mounted okay up here we've got your CB connections uh, all the cupboards open and close good so secure storage over here and over here over here we've got your power inverter and location where you could mount a microwave that would work perfect I love this little slide around table it's got a little bit of a mark on the front of it but it does lock into place and I'll quickly pop this up okay so we've got a brand new mattress in a bag here we've got a brand new HVAC filter we do change the filters uh, during our service so new fuel filters air filters and uh, HVAC filters along with engine oil and filter. You've got your stereo subwoofer and your S-Bar bunk heater is right there. Let's come over to this side here. We'll have a quick look. So you've got your door that opens up over here. You've got your inverter power is there and your fridge on off, which is a great feature. And then your smart air system, which the control panel is not illuminating, so that leads me to believe that it's been disconnected for whatever reason. Probably too expensive to fix would be my first guess. Have a look here. So we've got a good control panel there. Otherwise, uh, like I said earlier, on the table, spins around, locks into place. You get two secure doors there, storage drawers. And then inside here, we've got your fridge, which is a good size step goes up to the second level we've got secure storage in here with a clothes rack and a mirror but there is no second level it's a single bed so we've got more secure storage here with a tray another uh, storage looks like we've got a homemade coat hanger here and some sort of a cord that something was plugged into not sure where that goes not sure I want to know uh, here we've got a TV mount and let's go outside and have a look at this thing running 
Bear with me one second. Bluetooth audio as well. So, we'll put it up on fast idle. Oh, this does have collision mitigation as well. And that is the sensor in the front that'll automatically brake the truck. So you'll see that's coming up in the front. Uh, and it's got a sensor. It's good for stop and go traffic. It's bad if you like tailgating people. It'll beep at you consistently. So uh, let's go have a listen. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. It gets hard to hear me over the engine. I will take the oil filler cap off and pull around the engine to let you have a listen. So let's get the oil filler cap off, see what it's doing. I won't talk too much. I'd rather you listen to the engine than me at this point. Here we go. Good, very, very minimal pressure can be observed coming out of the oil filler cap. So this one has idle shutdown, obviously, which is fine. Don't really want to idle your vehicle if you don't have to, but if you want to, and uh, you want to purchase this truck, you'll have to have us remove the idle shutdown because obviously it's, um, it's going to shut down on you otherwise. So there you have it, 2016 Kenworth T680 Packar 13 speed manual. If you're interested in this truck, you happen to be in the US watching the video, we offer delivery from our yard in Buffalo, along with paperwork to convert the title to US from Canada. And if you're in Canada, we're in Cambridge, Ontario, and you're more than welcome to come down to have a look and test drive it. And you can take delivery from our Cambridge yard. So there you have it. Hope to hear from you soon. 844-489-8789. It's Rob from Next Truck Sales. Bye for now.